358 degrees Celsius ambient temperature outside. How does that feel? <laughs> that is a normal day in South Africa. Hey everybody, it's me Barky and I'm here with another mod showcase and this is for the mod temperature gauge or temperature gorge. I don't actually know what that would how to be said Temp temperature gorge I think. G U A G A U G E apparently. Anyways, might be a spotty mistake. Anyways, onto the important stuff. It's a mod that adds in a thermometer and a temperature switch. And now that probably sounds like, oh, that's so basic, doesn't add much. It doesn't add too much, but it does add a nice layer of complexity to the game, which I do think should be added into the base game. So what does it do? Well, the thermometer gives you a warning when it reaches the temperature you set. As you can see, I've got it on high temperature and it will send an alert when temperature is above 40 degrees Celsius. So if things get too hot, it'll, it'll tell me, it'll give me a little warning, which is really nice. And then the temperature switch kind of does a similar thing but it, it is similar to a normal switch in that it allows power to pass through it when it reaches that temperature. So as you can see, they look very similar, uh, which is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and just clear that up because I don't want this rubbish here. So yeah, so it pretty much allows you to regulate the temperature of a place. And this is especially good when you're living, well, I'd say this is especially good in two circumstances, but this is really good when you're living in a place where the temperature fluctuates wildly and this world that I'm on right now is one of those worlds, just by the way. Also, don't mind the ship stuff, I was testing other stuff on it. So this is one of those worlds that, that kind of goes crazy with temperature. I think it gets negative 30 in the winter and 22-ish in the summer or 25 in the summer. So it's got, it, the average temperature is like below zero, but yeah, <laughs> kind of weird. That average temperature will probably never be consistently reached. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and spam heat waves so you can kind of see the effects that these have. I've got this one set to 30 degrees. I will set them all in intervals of 5. I don't actually know how hot it will get outside. I'm estimating about 60-ish. So inside it all. A little bit colder than that. Which one is this? 40, 45. Okay, if it gets too cold, I'll, I'll raise them up a bit. Actually, screw it. Let me just make this 35, 40, 45. 50. All right, let me go ahead and put on like three heat waves. I think we'll be okay. Heat wave. Cool. Let's take a look at that. I've also got these ones set to 35 each. And you can copy and paste the settings. So that's very cool. Very, very cool. So it's 21 degrees outside right now, 18 degrees indoors. This is going to raise very quickly. Okay, 35 degrees, 40 degrees, 45 degrees outside. 55 degrees, 60 degrees, 70 degrees Celsius. Holy cow. All right, it's 33 degrees inside. So the first one is about to turn on. And there we go. You can see straight away. Turns on. And you can see a nice little um, way to show you the temperature. Got this little bar over there. There we go. So 38. That one turned on. You can see the little lines will turn blue. That one turned on now. Temperature too hot. All right, okay, cool. So this is the warning. So there we go. This is the warning you get. Temperature too hot. It's warning me right now. So I can turn that off now. That's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. There we go. This one's turned on. These things are not really doing much. And I think the max temperature is 50 degrees. So <laughs> there you go. They're all on. It's 90 degrees Celsius outside on this planet. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Let me make sure my colonists live to see another day. Because that is crazy. Maybe I can lower the temperature using the quantum cooling stuff. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. So now you can see I'll lower the temperature. Lower the temperature enough so that these turn off. Kind of cool, actually. Now, only this one is on because it's at 40 degrees. And it'll stay like that. So, maybe if I can pump more power in. How cool is that though? How cool is that? This is what I thought of immediately, just to kind of test things out, because I like to test stuff and just mess around a bit. But this could be used for anything. Automatically turn greenhouses on during the winter. It could regulate room temperatures. You could have two of these, one for a cooler, one for a heater. Anything like that is possible with this. Let me go ahead and do a few more heat waves just for funsies. 
But yeah, it works in both ways. So if it's too hot or too cold, you can fix that. Which I think is very, very awesome. Very, very, very cool. I wonder if it gets too hot or stop burning stuff. Okay. So it's 100 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, yeah, that's insane. That's insane. I wonder if these rooms will be okay. Cool. But yeah, that's the mod. It, it's very, very simple. How do you make them? Well, the thermometer takes 20 steel and one component. And I think where is temperature switch takes 15 steel, one component. Okay, so about similar. So if you compare that to a normal switch, it's exactly the same. Just to give you an idea. So that's very cool. And neither of them take power. So very, very awesome. Definitely should be added to the, to the base game in some way. I think temperature alerts should be something that is added to the base game normally. All right, almost 200 degrees outside. Yeah, people are... Yeah, 176 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine living on a planet that's 176 degrees Celsius? Absolutely mind-boggling to me. Anyways, hope you all have an amazing day. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. I make these videos quite often. They're really, really cool and fun to make. I am working on a few bigger projects now, which will hopefully be out next week. I've kind of finished the first travel vlog, um, which I'm very happy with. So if you, if you guys want to come take a look at that, just stick around. It's awesome. Also, I've got a Discord server. Oh, sorry. I hit my mic. I've got a Discord server. So if you want to come hang on Discord, talk to me, or come hang out on my stream, whatever, just come chill. You know, anyways. Have an amazing day. Love you all. Bye-bye.